Who's paid those beer views? Um, that we're going to have a couple more beers. And um, I have one person telling me to um, stop doing beer views and go back to philosophy. Uh, I do see where you're coming from. I do see people who think that. Um, I do see where that's coming from. Um, however, philosophy does take time. And I seem to have less of it, I guess, sometimes. So I do have things prepared for it. It just takes time to, I don't know, my days off. My days off seem to have been being filled by other things recently. So, um, <clears throat> but beer is also a passion of mine. So I'm going to keep doing that as well. Uh, but this is a beer view. I have, I bought a, um, a 12 pack of some beers I didn't know about until I saw it, but it looked like it was, I mean, I don't normally go, I don't normally buy things on a whim. I buy things, I go, I go into a beer store or my, or the wine spirits department at my high bee store where I work at with an intention of what I want to look for or intention of what I want to buy. But in this case, that wasn't really what happened. I saw a 12 pack with a interesting looking logo and it was this silver logo with the Black Tooth Brewery logo, logo and I have about a 12 pack with that has four different kind, four different beers in it, three of each um, different beer. So I have four beer reviews from this beer company coming. Um, this one, however, um, it says Black Tooth Brewing Saddle Bronc Brown Ale. And I, I love the label. I love the the way that they. I love the way that this can looks. I love the silver colored Black Tooth Brewery logo. Uh, or B B Black Tooth Brewing. This beer gets an 86 on Beer Advocate. The roast haven't haven't reviewed it. Um, <clears throat> and it is 4.8 alcohol by volume. Seems kind of. I don't know. That's normally brown ales. Like regular brown ales are like on the five percent range. So I guess that's kind of. Um, normal. Oh, and in that brew, in that in that twelve pack, they have a blonde, a brown, an amber, and an IPA. The IPA, which I'm most looking forward to, will come last. <clears throat> it says, "Don't get thrown by this one coming out of the can." While dark in color, the brown ale has a remarkably light mouthfeel, making it a great beer any time of the year. The malt profile showcases hints of caramel, roasted nuts, and cocoa, just like the rodeo announcer says. So they have. Caramel malts, I guess is what they're using. They have some kind of, they. I don't think they're, I guess that they're having a malt that gives you a nutty thing happening, um, and cocoa. So I assume that they're using cocoa, and maybe they're using nuts, and I'm not sure. Um, but it has a, something, I think the thing on the top, all the news, it says drink the West. So I'm guessing Black Tooth is in the West, like the West Coast. And I want to know where that is exactly. Which is uh I don't know, I'll have to get back to you because I really can't can't tell where I should have looked it up, I should have figured that out. Uh, but it does not tell me on the can where it comes from. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I guess they're going for a brown ale that is sort of um, not your typical craft beer brown ale, something that is still very light and sessionable, I guess is what they're going for. So let's see if they, number one, achieved what they are going for. At 4.8%, at 4 I would think so. Um, and let's see if it's good. So with that pour we have a couple fingers of light light brown head the body is looks pretty clear uh but it's pretty dark it's pretty pretty dark brown i see a lot of bubbles going upward it is an amber copper color dark dark brown in the playback on the camera it looks very very dark brown but in the light you can see some kind of ruby amber hues so um Definitely nutty. That's one thing I'm getting, like, just right off the bat. Just nutty. Oh, God. 
No, it's not the beer. I just had a like had a flashback. I don't know if, you, if any of you have seen. Um, can't remember which Austin Powers is it. There's three Austin Powers movies. It's either the first or the second one. I'm thinking it was the second one. Yeah, it's got to be the, the second one because the second one was when Fat Bastard came into the picture. And I love how Mike Myers plays all three of those characters: Austin Powers, Fat Bastard, and that Doctor Evil. Love that. Um, I love those movies, but when I just said it smells nutty, I got the flashback from number two, The Spy Who Shagged Me, where he drinks what he thinks is coffee when it's shit. And he's like, it's a bit naughty. <laughs> God. Ugh. That, that scene grossed me out for years. It still does. But wiping that from the thing. Wiping that from my brain. Do get like a roasted element. The nuttiness. Uh, there's a bit of a caramel thing there too. So that it's kind of the smell is definitely what they're saying. Go ahead and try this. Whew. Yeah. It definitely does have a lot of good character. Like, lots of Sesh Nails uh, often don't have a lot of character, but then some of those Sesh Nails are 0.8% lower than this one, often even less. Definitely a nutty thing. Definitely roasted element. A little bit of caramel. Maybe a little bit of vanilla, I don't know. Quite a nice brown ale. I don't know. In, in the next beer review, I'm going to have to find out where Blacktooth is from and find out a little more about this company because I didn't know anything about, the, about, about it at all until I saw the um, the all pack. I saw this, that, saw that logo. It is definitely sessionable, definitely um, light on the, on the light side of things, um, but definitely still has a lot of character too. So it's something that's going for for something that is akin to a, something that is sessionable that has a lot of character. To me, is is a good beer. And given the chance, I don't think I would buy a six pack of this um it is a very good and the reason i wouldn't buy a six pack because there are like typically i don't go for these kinds of session things it doesn't say session on the can but that's what it's kind of what it's going for because it says um don't get thrown by this one coming out of the can while dark and color brown ale had this brown ale has a remarkably light mouthfeel making it a great beer any time of the year. So they're not necessarily going for a, the exact thing of what a session ale is, but it's going for something that you can drink all year round. Definitely true. Um, but that doesn't bother, bother me anyway. So it's definitely hitting the nail on the head for what it's going for. Something that is akin to something that is sessionable and still very, very character has a lot of character has a lot of flavor and is still light mouthfeel is kind of wet um light to medium it's very light for any brown ale like i feel like this is on the i feel like like this is almost on the like for mouthfeel this is almost on the level of newcastle um i feel like it has more flavor than newcastle but Newcastle is something else that I would buy Newcastle over, over this, but that's because Newcastle is a classic, and I think that Newcastle is just awesome, even though this has might have a little, little, little more character than that. Newcastle has a place in my heart, okay? And even though even though this is a, an American one, this, and that's English, I probably shouldn't even be comparing the two, but...
smooth finish. Very smooth. And it's very, very sessionable. I think even though they're not going for the session thing, it is very sessionable. I'm going to go ahead and give this beer a B+. A B plus. It's really good. Some really good things going going for it. And if for what it claims to want to do, it hits the nail on the head. However, it's not like for me personally. For me, if I'm drinking a brown ale, I'll go for for one that is just like that is not something that is supposed to be sessionable <laughs> but that's that's just me i mean if for what it's going for it's an a beer but for just for me it's a b plus let me know if you've had anything from black tooth if you know anything about black tooth thank you for watching